Hello folks. The new Ceramonic Blink 500 wireless lav system is the popular new hotness and there's a lot of talk about it recently. There's lots of videos out there showing comparisons and range testing, so I'm not going to cover all of that. In this video, I mainly want to talk about an issue I haven't seen mentioned so far, and that is the latency that this system has. Let's get something out of the way right from the start. I think that for some people, this system will do everything they need. It's simple, it's compact, it's easy to set up and easy to use. The standout feature is that you can pair two transmitters with a single receiver, and most of the packages available include two transmitters. It's also available with a small receiver that can connect directly to a lightning port or a USB-C port on a cell phone. All of that is made more appealing by the price, which is less than many single transmitter systems. It's also a refreshingly complete package for the money. The B2 system that I have here could have come with just one USB-C cable, but it actually comes with three, one for each transmitter and one for the receiver. It also comes with two lavalier mics, one for each transmitter, and both a TRS and a TRRS cable for the receiver. And that's all great, so what's this about the latency? First, there's a couple of minor things that are not the reason for this video, but I'll still mention them. The lav mics are nothing great, but they're okay. Uh, but the clips that come with the microphones are the same as one that came on a $10 Chinese lav mic I have. And like that cheap lav mic clip, this one snapped the first time I tried, very carefully by the way, to remove the clip uh, to reverse the position. So be careful with the clip and maybe order some spares. And don't order the $12 Ceramonic clip. I ordered a five pack of these same clips for half the cost of one from Ceramonic. The Blink 500 does have more self noise than some other systems, though that has been pointed out by others. It's not terrible, and people rightly point to the low cost and the consumer market target of this system as a justification. I agree with those points, but when words like groundbreaking and revolutionary are being thrown around, I do think it's fair to point out that there are trade-offs for getting so much for a low cost. My Roadlink system was more expensive, but it also provides far cleaner audio. I also found that the system seems to have a lot of bass extension in the audio. On my first test with the system, I found I was picking up a low frequency hum that was loud enough to be noticeable. At first, I thought there was an issue with my setup, but it turned out that a fan running in another room of my house was transmitting enough vibration through the house that the Blink 500 system was picking it up <laughs> surprisingly well. So you may find that this system picks up a bit more low frequency rumble than you expect. But let's talk about the main topic at hand and that is the latency. This system is geared largely towards recording directly into a camera. If you record audio from any wireless system directly into a camera, low latency is important. Low latency will result in audio that is in sync with the video. The spec for the latency on the Blink 500 is 12 milliseconds. That isn't too bad, although it is three times the latency spec of the Roadlink system and the Sennheiser XSWD systems, and it's twice that of the spec of the Rode Wireless Go. But I'm actually getting latency with the Blink 500 system that is far higher than its spec. When monitoring audio from my camera or recorder with headphones, I get a short but very noticeable delay between speaking and hearing the audio in my headphones. It's annoying when monitoring, and it actually makes it difficult for me to maintain a proper speaking rhythm because I'm hearing myself on a delay. I connected the Blink 500 system to my audio recorder along with another mic that was connected directly. I then adjusted the delay setting for the directly connected microphone to see how many milliseconds of delay I would actually have to add before the two signals would sync up and I would have no echo in the recording. I actually maxed out my recorder's adjustment at 30 milliseconds and the directly connected mic was still out of sync ahead of the signal from the Blink 500. So the latency of my Blink 500 system is actually higher than 30 milliseconds. Based on the amount of echo I could still hear with, even with 30 milliseconds of delay on the directly connected microphone, I'd say there's at least 35 milliseconds of latency on the Blink 500, probably a bit more. Here is a sample of what the echo sounds like when I record with both the Blink 500 and an XLR mic connected to my audio recorder. Right now, neither input has any delay set in the recorder. The echo you hear is due to the latency of the Blink 500 wireless system. So if you are recording directly into a camera with this system, the audio will be slightly out of sync. How noticeable it will be is going to depend on what's happening in the video. 
Maybe it won't be enough to bother you, but if it does, you'll have to unlink the audio and video in post and sync it up manually if you want it to be perfect. For comparison, I also tested my road link system and found it had only two milliseconds of latency. Two milliseconds is enough that I have never noticed any kind of delay or uh, video and audio being out of sync when using that system. Keep in mind, in both of those tests, the transmitter and receiver were only a couple feet apart. I still think the Blink 500 is a very complete package and it offers a dual transmitter system at an appealing price. It's simple and very easy to use, but people should be aware of potential drawbacks before making a purchasing decision. If you only discover issues after forking over your money, you might end up disappointed. But if you know about possible issues ahead of time, you can decide if the pros outweigh the cons and it, you're less likely to be blindsided by an issue. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like me to test out with this uh, Blink 500 wireless setup, just let me know. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care.